my Twitter followers. Oh, five people. Crikey. Hello, everyone. Well, thank you very much for joining me this evening for a live stream of the uh, Poppy Day baiting Amiga Classic cannon fodder. Um, this is a stream I've wanted to do for uh, for quite some time, um, mainly because I never actually had this on the Amiga. Well, I didn't have an Amiga uh, growing up because I wasn't a, 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 a well-off. Uh, I wasn't well off, so I had it on the uh, I had it on the SNES and completed it on the SNES. Um, but I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I completed it once. But what I did over and over and over again was try and keep the uh, first two characters in the game Jules and Drops alive for as long as possible um, once I even kept them alive when I explained when every time you complete a mission in the game you increase in rank uh, and uh, you go all the way up from private to general and I did once get Jules and Drops uh, up to the rank of general um, which means they went through the entire all these missions without dying um, because in canon fodder it's permadeath. Once a character is dead, they're dead and they are not coming back. So tonight will be all about keeping Jules and Jops alive and promoting them to general. If Jules and Jops both die, that's it. We're done. Good night. Um, I haven't actually played this game for... Well, I haven't played... I played it this morning uh, for about 10 minutes and didn't do particularly well. And apart from that, I haven't played this game uh, for about a decade. So please don't expect to see uh, any great demonstration of skill or, uh, you know, perfect run through. This is very much, this is going to be incredibly tense and uh, hopefully very exciting. Um, so, yeah, uh, well, uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's, let's load up the game on my uh, Amiga. There may be some issues. Um, with how this is going to work uh, because well obviously I'm running this emulated because I'm not you know a wizard um, able to actually connect up my actual Amiga to it uh, so there may be some issues as I discovered this morning uh, with the mouse ignore all this it's all legit shh, shh, it's all perfectly normal I mean, I did buy this game on the SNES in cartridge form for probably about 50 quid, I think. So, um, so yeah, there may be some issues with the um, with the mouse uh, losing focus. Uh, I really hope not, um, but we shall see. We shall see what happens. So if I now make this nice and big, how's this looking on the stream? It's looking too big on the stream. <laughs> We don't need any piracy around here. Thank you very much. Might edit this bit out of the um, of the YouTube. There you go. Let's get it there. Marvelous. Right. Well, for those of you who never played this game, um, there was a lot of controversy uh, at the time as uh, it featured a poppy on the front. I'm just going to turn the distracting. There we go. <clears throat> uh, there was a lot of controversy at the time uh, as there was. Um, uh, a poppy on the uh, marketing, and I believe on the original box art of the game, um, and the uh, British Legion kicked up a stink, and there was a huge tabloid shitstorm um, because it was seen as uh, uh, exploiting the poppy and uh, uh, and being disrespectful to war. And in all honesty, the game is a cracking uh, uh, statement on the futility of war. The, the name cannon fodder, for instance, tells you pretty much, you know. All you need to know about it. It's 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 a really astonishingly bleak game, and it has something which um, which until I mean you know until the new XCOM I would say at least personally for me uh, a game hadn't done again, which was um, to uh, give you characters that once not once they're dead they're dead uh, for the rest of the game. There's no reloading. Uh, you're stuck. Once, once, once you see those little, those little pixel, pixelated characters fly off in a little shower of pixelated blood, that's it. They've had it. And um, what happens is when a character dies, you then get a little gravestone. And as you play through the game, uh, there are more and more deaths, uh, and your little uh, hillside outside your recruitment centre fills up with little gravestones. 
Uh, and you know what? It makes you think. Uh, it's very good. It is. It's, it's a. It's, it's a cracking game. I, I generally have no idea how this is going to work as a, as a stream. Whether it's this is going to be. Whether this is a good idea or not. But I've always wanted to do this. So um, so bear with me. Um, for all the um, for all <laughs> for all the um, for all the talk of it being a clever a, a clever and sensitive satire on on the lives of soldiers, this was slightly undermined by the uh, theme song of the uh, that plays at the start of the game, which wasn't present on the SNES version uh, that I had, but I craved craved an Amiga more or less so I could listen listen to the song, um, which I will play for you now, and we can listen to and um, and, uh, and and show respect. Um, here we go. If I can turn this back on. Uh, please let me know in the chat if you can't hear it. Oh, <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, cracking. Ignore that, ignore that. That was me, what a pro, what a pro. Uh, that was me um, just trying to adjust the volume on my computer and uh, it took that as a, uh, as a left mouse click. Brilliant. This will get better. <laughs> sorry about this. Sorry, 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 sorry. Bear with me. Bear with me. It's all live, folks. All right. No, oh, this is going brilliantly. <laughs> This is this is this is a disaster. All right. Okay. 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 This is the future. I mean, you know, we all imagined one day we'd have um, we'd have computers that can uh, play any game we want, load them instantaneously, and this is what we get. This is what we get. Okay. Uh, my cat has also just uh, jumped onto the table, so that's another random fact we're going to have to con contend with here. Okay. Let's get... There we go. There we go. How's that looking? How are we doing? I'm not touching anything. We can't get the music. Okay, fine. <laughs> Let's just crack on, shall we? Look it up on YouTube. Uh, can you hear me okay? And is the game too loud? Uh, here we have our new recruits, our cannon fodder, if you will. Uh, coming over the hill, ready to start their first mission. And who are these two at the front? Why, it's Jules and Jobs. Now, as I say, the aim of tonight, there's Jules, there's Jobs. The aim of tonight is to keep these two alive for as long as possible. And if we can, get them to general. Um, well, let's see what we can do. So this very first mission could very well be the only mission where both of them are pulling their weight and not holding out at the back. Please do work. Come on, work. Okay, phase one, mission one, phase one of one. It's a jungle out there. Briefing, kill all enemy. Okay. So here we have here, ooh, here we have here our, uh, our two soldiers, Jules and Drops. And here we have, you might not be able to see it, 
camouflaged. Uh, ho uh, Crow Grey, by the way, says home away. Home are the amount of uh, casualties you've sustained away are the amount of casualties the enemy sustained. It's satire. It's satirical. Um, here we have Jules and Jops. Here we have uh, three faceless enemies who Jules and Jops are now going to uh, slaughter with guns. Ah. And there we go. Mission complete. First blood. And so here we get the um, a little victory parade for our uh, for our heroes. I mean, I think we can all agree that what they did there was was pretty damn heroic. And uh, Jules and Drops get promoted from Private Corporal. It's the first step on the ladder, and uh, I wish them well. Home three, zero away. That's three kills to zero. Perfect. And here would come the new recruits. Uh, news of the successful first campaign of killing three soldiers has spread. And the war is gaining popularity. So we're doing pretty well. And we have Stu, my personal favourite, uh, who's uh, coming along on this mission. The private to their corporal. Um, as Crow Grey says, cheering on our boys here. So, mission two, phase one of two, bridge over the river pie, briefing, kill all enemy. So I like to imagine here that Jules and Jops, having, um, having tasted blood for the first time, now consider themselves, you know, veterans in a way. Um, see here there's an enemy, enemy in the river just here. He's pretty defenceless, so we, we can take him out. Um, now, what we've got here, we've got all three of the soldiers in a in a squad at the same time. This does uh, this does leave them quite vulnerable, and obviously we do need to keep Jules and Jops uh, alive for as long as possible. But for now, I think we'll let's show let's show Stu how our how the guns work. See, they're they're gone. Um, there's another two enemies here. They're gone. See, the key to this is to is to fire at them so so effectively that they don't even they don't even have a chance to fire back it's, it's a satire uh, let's cross the bridge here just as a squad all as one you know that's i don't i think jules and drops want to give the impression that uh that they're not afraid to get their their hands dirty you know stew stew's at the back the third one at the back he's just you know well he's he's learning on the job very much there's one more enemy here. I think, and that, and think that that's that. That's that's the phase complete, and our soldiers, as we can see, are still alive. And Stu is perhaps just now that little bit more hungry for blood. Trash enemy HQ. Kill all enemy. Destroy enemy buildings. Now destroying enemy buildings. This is where it gets. Uh, this is where it gets a little bit more fun. Oh, immediately we have some enemies in the uh, in the river. Um, we must have parachuted in behind enemy lines and, and, and got the jump on them. So, it's a long old slog along this, um, along this riverbank. But there's plenty of enemies having a little swim. And um, you may be wondering, who are the enemies? You know, why, why are we killing these, the, these conscripted soldiers? What is this all about? Does it matter? Does it though? Oh, <clears throat> it really would be humiliating for, for Jules and Jobs to die at this lecture. You'll notice here there's a um, a body floating face down in the river, uh, and it's green, so it looks like it's one of ours. I mean, this this gives you gives you some idea of the the stakes that we're uh, that we're fighting for here. You'll also notice that uh, the enemies are quite camouflaged. Now this. This here, well, this looks like this looks like a nightmare. This looks like a, a kind of death. I don't fancy Jules and Jops' chances here, and I think it's time for Private Stu to form his breakaway breakaway little squadron and um, go and earn his stripes. Come on, Stu, you can do it. Come down the alleyway. Oh, there's two there. There's two enemies there. Take him out. There's still one there. Take him out, Stu. He's done it. Right. Oh, here comes another one. Here comes another one. Come on, Stu. Get along this. Get along this kind of 
grassy bit here. Here's another enemy. You know what? I think we might be. I think we might be getting close to their base. Oh, there's another enemy, and you can see 